We just... Welcome back. <coughs> We're the Bourbon Junkies. I'm Dan. I'm Sean. Today tonight. we review. No, it's tonight. You already opened it, huh? Great value, purified drinking water. Bad. Dan's Cru dying. Crushable. Very crushable. We got some uh, Buffalo Trace Kosher Rye Recipe. Run it. Before I cough. Now that I got the water in the system, I'm, I apologize. I'm say, that's the first time that's ever happened. I burnt during that and I'm sad. Wait. Okay, a little bit, a little bit. Okay, so we're back. Another Monday, another review. The other <sighs> of the kosher. There's three of them. So. One of the others of go. the others. Nailed it. This bottle was sent to us by Cedric Dunham. Boom! <laughs> Thank you, Cedric, for sending us this bottle. Um, I would imagine the name is Cedric Dunham, just for yeah, clarity's like, sake. It was on the screen. But thank you. Oh, uh -huh. huh? Ooh. I, uh... Um. Oh. So. Oh. That so I good. could not be happier. That smells so good. <laughs> Whoa! So obviously I we just literally just opened this. Didn't expect that. What? Okay. Right now, I need to know the price tag. I learned a lot about this whiskey today. I need to know the price tag. You know, let's play a fun game. You guess, I'll tell you higher or lower. Uh, 40. Nailed it. All right. Literally 39.99 MSRP. All right, so, yeah. 400, perfect. Yeah. So, I have another interesting stat that we can talk about a little bit later. Is about it the fact that we actually know secondary what makes it pricing. kosher now? I still don't fully understand it, but I do know it's I a do. Jewish thing and we were disrespectful and everybody got mad I don't at think us. it was that. It was just that we were so Un unknowledgeable of what made it kosher. Some people would call us uneducated. Yeah. Others would say we're great, so. And then a lot of others would disagree with them. You know, they had things to say. They were not nice, but. Okay, can I tell you, I didn't learn this, but I've made, I've come to this conclusion using physics and logic. Okay. So. I'm gonna just tune out No, it's important that I tell okay, you this part. Okay. So the last one we did was the wheat recipe, which yep. we basically compared to Weller. Yeah. We said, this is a Weller product. It has Pretty to much. be, yeah. right? And it tastes like a Weller product, yeah. a little different. Yeah. This is the rye recipe, but this is a bourbon. This is mash bill too. Really? It has to be. What's their other rye recipe? Their high rye is mash bill too. Elmer, Blanton's, Rock Hill, right? Hancock's. It does say rye whiskey. It's 90. In my mind, I was thinking rye whiskey. And it's an, this is, look at Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Yeah. It's bourbon, rye recipe, aka, it's Elmer. Yeah. Um, I was like, Probably. man, I, somehow in my mind, I was oh. thinking rye whiskey. And then I smelled it, it was like, man, this smells oh. like bourbon. <laughs> so good. The, now, here's the thing you said the other one earlier, there's an actual rye. Okay. So there's I the rye recipe. Thought we had that. There's a and I even said rye recipe. Okay. There's a straight rye and then there's a wheat recipe. Those are the three. <laughs> Slightly confusing because this is a bourbon that yeah. says rye on the front. But it's, it's because. Not like they invented a new rye recipe. Right. Yeah. They just use one that works. Exactly. It's still Buffalo Trace whiskey. That's a shitty one that's holding on to us. Oh. This whiskey smells fantastic. It does. It's kosher, meaning it was sold and there's a lot of things that go into it. Yep. And you know what the other thing is? It doesn't touch other things that aren't kosher, yep. certified kosher. There you go. A Jewish Nailed person it. didn't own it during Passover. Look at how intelligent people you are. You made us. People are like, Thank you. you guys, I don't think anybody's ever told us that we don't take constructive criticism, but look how well we absorb that information. Dude, this is like super caramel, red fruit, Kind of juicy fruity. Cedric, thank you so much for sending this bottle. Citrusy, this is delicious. I get I get a ton of red fruit, maybe a ripe Honeycrisp apple on the nose. I'm good with that, yeah. Like you take one bite out of a Honeycrisp apple and then you smell the juicy part of the apple. There's some lemon zest in there though. Completely agree with a citrus note. Yeah. I'm trying to decipher a nice lemon. orange or lemon. Nice it's not lemon, pledgy though. Lemon zest. It's not pledgy. It's not. Sometimes when we get lemon, we go as far as to say chemically pledged. Yeah. So. But we also so like when we cook, we use a microplaner. Use some you zest of lemon. <clears throat> a limit of that. I, I don't use. I use macro planers. So. It's called a grater. Oh. <laughs> well, there goes the new mic. 
Okay, I got <sighs> happy with the swirl. I, I couldn't be happy on the nose. Dizzy. You poured me the shittiest, smallest pour I've ever had in my life. I apologize. Do Jewish people swear yes or no? I said shitty, this is a kosher bottle. I think all people swear. I mean, <clears throat> that's, that's just a human thing. Okay, if you're Jewish you do and you don't swear, people, I apologize. <laughs> I don't know the rules. So, listen, it smells Dude, so good. It's got that slight, it's not as uh, enhanced as it was in the wheat uh, recipe one. There's that like little funky musty note yes, in the back end of this agree. one too. You know what I think it is? Wherever they were aged. No, dude, how does this smell like an old Elmer T. Lee? Does this smell like Elmer 100? Did we say it was like a oatmeal cookie type? Neither of us have said that. Oh, okay. I thought we said that on the wheat recipe That makes one. sense though. It was like an oatmeal like cookie. Like a baked oatmeal cookie. Yeah. It's baked though. It's just fresh sick. out the it's oven. It's like you're smelling whiskey and there's fresh baked oatmeal cookies sitting over in the window, wafting in. It's just a hint of that in there. Apparently it's good. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Oh. That's very good. I don't know that I've ever had a better $40 bottle of whiskey in my life. Is this remotely findable? I don't know. What in the world? Where's all the glens? Uh, I just set them on a chair right there. Oh wow. That was the noise I heard, huh? Me breaking. All of them on top of each other yep. in shambles. Yep. Wow. It has to be. Name a, a better Mashville too. That's $100 bottle. Though. Oh, yeah. $100. Let's talk about which is easier to find. <laughs> Gold. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The Japanese release. Uh, so, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm thinking the physical element of gold. Oh. When you dug a hole in your backyard. This is the only Mashville 2 that's 94 proof. Mm, mm, mm. What? Mm. It's Mashville 2. I don't think you can just say that though. I said it. It's yeah. true. This is Mashville too. Tell me it's not, because it is. First off, second off. Lord. Um, okay, I gotta give this class a swirl. I think this blows the door off of the wheat recipe. A hundred percent. Not even close. Because the wheat recipe for me was somewhere between Weller Special Reserve and maybe a CYPB, yeah. somewhere in that range. I can't stop smelling this. This. If you go into this and you think it's Mashville 2, you'll still be happily surprised, right? And expectations on Mashville 2 are high. Um, what the hell? I think it's really light up front, which is weird. Is usually Mashville 2 for me is like super sweet up front, falls on the face. Sure. I think the reverse on this. I think it's a little flat up front and it just builds. I don't. Can I be completely honest with you right now? A plus. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna drink this one more time, and then I'm gonna make a very bold statement. We're going hot take mode. Better than Elmer Hunt. Huh? Man, <laughs> this might be the best Mashville two ever. It's better, I think. If you don't need a barrel proof, because the only place I'm gonna not place this, the only Mashville two that would be apples and oranges, would be a Blanton's straight from the barrel. I guess. Right? Because of the proof so high, I, 130 I guess, range. Yeah, I don't. This is a 94. This is not what I expected when we shot this. When we opened the wheat and we liked when, it. When we talked about shooting this, I'm sorry. Right. Um, what? All right, okay. This is super red fruit. This is the perfect, when we talk about things being floral, and then we talk about that fine line in the sand of floral and red fruit, that's the perfect thing ever. You're, I. Well, I think you, well, can we start over with the pour you gave me at the beginning of this video? I apologize. It was about that size. I didn't have high hope for it. I'm not gonna lie to you. So when I read Rye Recipe, I thought to myself, it must be mash bill too. What else could it be from Buffalo Trace? Now, I know that they're, uh, they're normal, their mash bill one recipe. Obviously it has rye in it but it, they don't consider it a high rye recipe. They, call, they consider it Mashable One, their normal recipe. It's only like 3% difference. Uh, what does it go from like eight to 15? It's up to, high rye is up to 15. I thought it was eight to 12 and then 12 to 15 or something like it, that. I don't know where Mashable One ends. It's I do know that- It's on the screen right now. I know Mashable Two ends at 15, so. Just threw it out which there. Which is weird, because 15 is not high rye. Compared to a lot of other stuff. No. For them it must be, Could but. Could be. It should call it higher rye. You know what, this is Elmer 100, this, is a, that was a nip of kosher rye recipe. So 
$40 bro. Oh. That'll ruin your life. I don't know that Eagle Rare 17 is even a thing anymore. That smells like the greatest whiskey ever blended by any human being in the past. Dixon needs to get a hold of me. Kentucky Owl Batch 15 or whatever. That's it right there. That is it tastes as good as it smells. It's pretty bad. No, I wouldn't do that. I'm gonna just gonna try it. I didn't get to try it. This is I'm what? What, what do you it? want? Okay. This is a, clearly a 14 plus A74 Q41 Area 72. Elon Musk. Yeah. Naming right I there. don't even care. This um, is the best Mashville 2 that they've ever made. You just keep saying that like it's a thing. That's Mashville 2. You keep saying that. Buffalo Trace, Mashville 2. <laughs> this is the greatest $40 you could ever you spend in whiskey. That. Yeah. Do it. Cedric, thank you so much. I don't know what they'll say. What do you guys want from us? Buy, if you see it's this bottle for $100, buy it. Here's the grading, A+. It's amazing. It's incredible. All right, cool. We're the Brave Junkies. We are. I, dude, do you think it's as good as this bottle? No, please stop just drinking things. <laughs> Check out Facebook. Like, comment, subscribe, Patreon. <laughs> Check all that stuff out. Cedric. Cheers, buddy. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Proofs in the port. Did you just...